My name is Ramsey, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeons, specifically the Darkest Ramsey estate thereof. We've just got a party and we're going to the cove. Ah, it's about time we turn over a couple of these missions, right? Nothing really special going on here. Not really. Uh, we do have a couple characters that we really ought to treat in the sanitarium, though, while we're out here. We really whiling out here. Uh, remove scientific. Pretty good idea. Star removes nothing. Walks in hot to trot. Definitely. I guess you'll lock out with this, whatever. Uh, and then the only people that can really be put in here are obviously Crimson Cursed characters. Uh, Carpy would like to remove Zoophobia or Antsy, but eh, haven't got the opportunity to do so at the moment because I've got to take Carpy out on the mission. All right. It's probably about as much food as I want. Three shovels, single key, single holy water. Uh, like four medicinal herbs, stacking a wee bit of torches. Two blood. I'm not using the dirge of Duad, so I don't even need the laudanum. All right, we covered. Food, shovels, keys, torches, and let's go. <clears throat> Just about trying to tread out those missions until we get to high infestation so that we can get the... These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Get the right enemy down. Alright. What with that double scout off the bat and the trap directly in front only makes sense to swap those trinkets around, especially because we also have the space in our inventory to do so. So if we get the Mega Scout here and the left side doesn't actually have any... Misclicked and uh, <clears throat> used it twice. That's not good. That's not good. <sighs> Bunch of stress on the party. Uh -huh. And a Squiffy Ghast that's going to be a wee bit of a problem here as well. Uh, dive just immediately removes one of the members from the field. Great. Cultist Witch is dead now too. Magic Champion for the 25% chance. Never mind. 25% chance to fail that stun, not 25% chance to hit it. A death by inches. Barnacle Barrier. Alright, that's going to be a whip of a problem. Got to start working our way through the Pledge of Champions so that we can actually remove the Squiffy Ghast at any point here. Obviously, stacking those DOTs is going to be a great way to get about that. Mm -hmm. Tiny amount of stress. Loving it. Stun? Still doesn't manage to land that stun. Damn. That's failed a 25%. After a 25%, so that's a 1 in 16. Uh, for me to have failed both. Uh, nice self-stress heal there. Doesn't make up for anything. Doesn't make up for the multi-click there, but yeah, still. Guess it's worthwhile. Manning Shanty yet again. I'm really glad that you haven't done off-call to Jig yet. Hey! Landing that stun now gives me the ability to use... Yeah, die for the right hit there. You've got to be a self-stress heal here. It really doesn't matter to do anything else. All right, Manning Shanty. Whoo, got dodged. Great heal as well as a wee bit of a stress heal. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Yeah, I guess that could be useful, sure. We actually did have a chance of bleeding there, by the way. I'm just going to go for the kill. I don't want the Squiffy Gas to get another turn. Hope blossoms. 
Okay, didn't get the scout, so that does mean I have to go off to the left here, regardless of what I wanted, which was to not go off to the left there. Eradicated. Yep. Straight up remove one from the field there. Thank you, Dive. And immediately follow up with the same action there, Laws. Uh-huh, that's another 25% chance of a stun fail, by the way. In case you're wondering. I know I was. The end approaches. Good self-stress heal. We'll go for another one here. All right, 25% chance. Hey, we land this one. Nice. Glad to see it. I didn't think it could be done. Yep. Straight up remove you. Destroy them all. Obviously, we're not going to loot any of these until we're on our way back. Do I have anyone with, like, so few negatives that I could actually interact with a bar relief without being sad here? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, we can't do that. The whole party will stress out ridiculously. And we probably wouldn't even be able to hit the Shamblers repeatedly with the, uh, the leper. And I don't even need the money from it. I haven't actually sold the most recent uh, ancestral trinket that I picked up from it. So I really actually wouldn't get anything out of it at all. Okay, Cultist Twitch has now taken an action, which means that we're done here. Stuns the Plagic Champion. Hey, I actually managed to land at that time. Hell yes, go us. Gently. Manning Shanty. This is how a life is taken. All right. I do want one of those rare relics that you can get from the champions of the dungeons and things like that, but we're just the not getting them so far. Quickens. Throw the DOT on the character that can actually take them. Manning Shanty yet again. One of those days that debuff is going to hit and it's going to be absolutely terrifying. Don't know what it is, but I can only assume it'll be terrifying. The ground Excellent. Quick. Six to eleven, rolls the eleven, not bad, not bad. Almost got the removal on Squiffy Ghast. Actually, with the early action here, Confidence I'll just have more kill. The enemy crumbles. I don't know, if I keep laws on low HP, maybe I do go and do that fight. Could be an idea. Yep. Laws are still below half. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh, this is probably an awful idea, but I really want to do it. Okay. Let's make sure that we have the right things locked in. Okay, so we're not going to want purge. We'll want revenge. No, wait, we will want Purge and Revenge, right? That's Revenge and Intimidate. There we go. Then you're going to want... Yep, just those tags. You'll be fine. Yep. Yep. Depending on the shuffle, we could be in for a really easy fight. Okay. Behold the infinite malignity Literally the, the worst stars. shuffle that could have happened. Well, we almost rectified our body there. Oh, God. Awful. Just 
tragic. Clapperclaw on laws. It's probably just going to be battle buffs every turn now. I uh, probably can't really afford to do the repositioning now. Thump. Doesn't even manage to kill the Shamble Spawn. Shamble Spawn is now dead in two rounds. The one in the front line is not yet. Renorius Lament. Okay, so those Clapper Claws are going to get a lot of damage off. Hey, it's our original party positioning. Who defunct it? I'm going to go for the battle buff again, because if we can actually outspeed these Shambler Spores later on, we are going to be in a much better position. Right. To a killing blow. Solid party heal right there. Only want to kill the frontliner. This one's already dead in the next round. Don't need to... Don't need to pepper any more damage in. Do need to start bleeding the abhorrent shambler though. Dior's advancement. Nice. Giant bleed. Giant bleed right there. Um we go for the big party heal there. Is the weapon that Looking for the leper own. to kill this shambler spawn. Great. Good work, leper. Kick in more bleed against the abhorrent shambler. It is raining very loudly outside. Good lord. Undulating withdrawal does crit. Unfortunately. Ooh, that's a giant hit right there. Okay, that Shambler Spawn only gets one action now. And the Frontliner doesn't even get an action. That's why I think the speed buffs from the Jester are so important here. Yes! Oh, that's a lot of bleed. So we let the Abhorrent Shambler get one action here, but it prevents the spawn of another one, so it's all good. Mortality clarified mm -hmm. in a single strike. Closest to stressing out is just the... Uh, as much as I want to go for the damage, I think we need the battle buff yet again. Our final one's about to wear out. A momentary abatement. Yeah. <sighs> clap a claw, clap a next. That's not enough, not really. Still gonna keep loading in the bleed on the abhorrent shambler here. Okay, Such no crit on the party. Assault. No, it did crit the back line. Okay, so that does mean that we get our Rapturus going off now. Laws is now Rapturus. That actually does give Laws extra speed, if I recall correctly. So we could probably open up this round with a Reign of Sorrows, which would be great. Inspiration mm -hmm. and improvement. Okay. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Clap a claw on Copy. Not enough to stress them out, at least. Very much looking for a single hit Destroyed. kill, and we got it. So this is another resummoning of two. Quite frustratingly. Alright, that Shamble Spawn is dead in another round. Or it gets no rounds alive. Beautiful. Great. 
right? I mean, we didn't get any damage on the Abhorrent Shambler that round, unfortunately. But, well, we did a little bit of bleed, but the Abhorrent Shambler is now very close to dead. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. I'm kind of fine if the flagellant wants to turn that down there. Masterfully executed. Straight up claim the life of one of those right there. Looking for a hue next turn. Beautiful. The space between worlds is no place for mortal men. I mean, like, I definitely shouldn't have done that, but also, I had fun. Okay, is Redeem leveled up? It is not, literally at all. We'll be fine. A fortune waiting to be spent. Obviously, I didn't need to do that, but I enjoy the kind of like high tense moments. And we haven't had a lot of those recently just because of the fact that we are farming, you know, low level missions constantly. All right, self heal. A decisive pummeling. Got dodge. That's really rough. Oh, bleed. Great. So we did get the armored maggot down that turn. I would love to focus on the paralyzing stinger here or even stun the back line. But yes, it's party heal, obviously. Howl across the party. Looks like we could actually have a character stress out here. The abyss nope. Returns. Even the boldest gaze. Oh no, Hayden Plus does end up stressing out. Okay. Thought we were fine because we resisted the stress there, but that's okay. Or rather resisted the... Not stress, but something else. That I forgot the name of. Okay. Let's see what's going on now. Howl across the party. Uh, ooh, full dodge. Nice. Copy now stresses out and is all finish. Self preservation is paramount at any cost. Yeah. Again, still fine with the flagellant turning down heels. Kind of somewhat ideal, actually. All right, Insatiable Ghoul should not be able to howl for the third round. Cannot. Oh, no. Instead, crits. Diva. Take that 20 bleed off of you, thanks. Quite obviously, my primary goal here is to... Primary goal here is to remove the selfish affliction from Hayden Plus. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Mm-hmm. Actually, probably should have already. Yeah, I should use a medicinal herbs to try and cure that off of Hayden Plus, though. Okay. 
Good self heal there. Gets double dodged. Yikes. Flagic Piranha is not dead yet. Damn it. Needed one more damage to get that death. Uh huh. 25% chance to resist that stun on the bloated throw, by the way. And because we didn't deal enough damage to the Pelagic Piranha, it doesn't die this round. And because it doesn't die this round, uh, that means it's going to leave a corpse. And it's going to be more difficult than I'd like to kill this bloated thrall in the back line now. I would not be surprised if we got hit by the revenge. Nothing really that Carpy can do about it right now. One damage short there on killing the bloated thrall. Uh-huh. And because uh, Laws moved forward there, uh, Dive does not actually have the ability to use Intimidate, which would be able to reach the bloated thrall. This is some straight up BS. Yes, I understand that I didn't need to be in this position because I didn't need to take the other bite, but... That's garbage. That shouldn't have happened. I'm so glad we dodged. I would have been really mad. Fine. Thank you for passing the turn right there. Yep, that's uh, that's why I started focusing the Blagic Champion there. Only a matter of time until the Blagic Champion was the only target I could even focus. The wounds sure. of war can be healed, but never hidden. Seen worse actions? Let's see what we can get done, though. Woo! Giant crit there, Laws. Well done. Not beyond the rounds of uh, range, rather, of being able to bleed them now. Okay, not really what I'd wanted to do there, but fine, I guess. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, didn't get a scout, unfortunately. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay. Yep, didn't get a scout, so we got traps Curious instantly. Maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Let's remove that. Yeah, so two more battles through the entire dungeon. Sure. Okay, treasure's mine, but the pack's already been looted, so they're on. In radiance, may we find victory. Kind of deserved that one, bud. Yep, let's just try and make sure that this bloated thrall doesn't get a turn. How about that? One blow to throw down. Not the target I wanted you to go for, Hayden. Mm -hmm. Call of the Deep is a giant buff for 25% damage, 10 to accuracy, and 10% to crit. Really would have liked to prevent that. Oh, yeah. Dive gets in on the fun, stresses out, and is abusive. Frustration and fury 
more destructive than a hundred cannons. That's not really a kind thing to do right there, bud. Confusion, nerves, and panic. Yep, good work, Dive. This expedition at least promises success. Only member of the team that appears to be on my side. torch before we go in here we should be fine i mean we don't have the ability to pump the torch so that's also a really good reason not to do it good crit on the back line there hopefully we get oh we did get laws next laws can i use rain of sorrows yes i can oh i got crit as well well done Landing that stun gives me a lot of hope for the future. Mm -hmm. ah, a little less now. Stressful incantation rolls on copy. So now with one harvest in the next round, both of those midliners are dead good because I can't rely on uh, Laws' action, apparently. Okay. Stressful incantation rolls on Laws. It's fine. Really wanted that stun there. On copy and gets dodged. Great. Mm -hmm. Rain of no. Okay, that's not rain of sorrows. Didn't even manage to bleed the target that you did hit. Five to ten manages to roll the five, where a seven, eight, nine, or ten would have been enough damage in order to kill the cultist witch that round. You know, not a great dungeon. That's okay, though. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. All's well that ends well, and we're gonna manage to get out of this dungeon. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Popped him. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Yeah, that'll all do. All right, quest complete. At last, wholesome marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. All right, healer's gift replaces fair weather fighter on laws. Eh, hard skinned on dive bullish. Uh, bulishin, bulishin, uh, deep bulishin. Nice. Uh, gray rot. Yeah. Hard skin is actually time, quite nice. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, cool eyes left for a round. Uh, we are getting ever closer to the red hook here. Just gonna keep pumping this up. Oh, we are very close to that red hook. I mean, we could just trade in shards at this point. It's not even enough, even if I do trade in the shards, so I won't do it. Obviously, in between episodes, I'm going to have to lock all of those people away in order to cure their diseases. I was just going to go out on another mission here, but, uh, but that took a little longer than expected because of the whole shambler business. 
For the moment, though, my name is Ruben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves. And hopefully, we'll see you and advance the infestation next time. <laughs>